Hello everyone and welcome back to the Evil Within 2. Um, just got back to the safe house so we're about to go to the rogue signal. I think. I think that's what we're doing. Yep, rogue signal. Just across the street. But before I go to that, there's a few things I actually want to say about this game because I, I looked through the trophies and such. Like, I'm not a big trophy hunter or anything, but I just want to see what, what other stuff I could like do in the game. And it seems like, uh, yeah, as with open world games, this had a few side missions, uh, as well as the main objective. So I'm going to, um, like with this playthrough, I'm going to try and do as many of the side missions as I can just to make the game go a bit longer because I'm really enjoying it. So yeah, let's continue. Uh, another thing I want to point out is that I didn't notice before, but this probably is a nice touch, is that um, when I was booting the game up, uh, it said that this game is powered by the STEM engine, from like ID Tech or something like that. I think that's, that's like a nice wee nod since we're like in the game, the character goes into a STEM system. Which is pretty cool, I didn't need to go into that. Right, just a rope signal, let's go. I think I've been in here before, like early game. Uh, what am I talking about? It still is early game, but I couldn't do jack shit in here. If I remember. But for all of you who are like offended by swearing and such like that, sorry, but uh, it's just how I deal with like horror games and such. And it's, and it's part of my basic language. It just, it just makes me feel better like when I'm shouting profanities at a game. Or when I just turn and spray something. It's, it's casual talk. It's not casual talk here. We're all friends here. What am I to do here? It's over there. Is there a way to get around the back here? Around the back here? What the fuck? Don't go. Well, when writing just appears on the wall like that saying don't go, I kinda don't wanna go. These ghosts, they know what the fuck they're talking about. Ah, oh, is this where the, yeah, the rogue signal is in here. I'm going to see that waypoint only because that's annoying. Uh, so I'm now in the waypoint. So, yeah. I'm sorry, little ghosty dude who seems to like butterflies. Is this meant for me? Yeah, no shit. We walked towards it and it appeared. No shit, Sebastian. It is for us. So, let's see what the hell we're not supposed to see. Judging by those noises, I really don't want to go in there. Brian Turner. Eh? Okay. Hello, Mr. Turner? What the... Fudge? See, I stopped myself there. I do have self-control. I recognize this work. It's him again. Ah, and I recognize that. It's more gears, so I can make shit. Oh, damn it. Luck, Ryan. What the actual hell? So another 
another crazy horror game where there's another this is supposed to be art, like an execution. Another art crazy character. Like what the hell? It's, it's like Santa Cohen from Bioshock. Huh. Another communicator. Must be Ryan. It must be. He's the only one here. Mobius team members. They might have something useful on them. That's uh, quite a few. But at least they tell me what supplies are. Sniper rifle parts, I need them. Waypoint. There's also this here. Resonance point. I think I left that just to come here. Alright, okay. Damn. Whoa! Where did you go? Shit. He came out of fucking nowhere, I was about to talk about him too. Holy crap, I was just gonna say that. Oh, that's disturbing. Oh, uh, your, your art is fucking sick, bro. Uh, oh, that's actually not too bad. That's kind of nice. Kind of like they're, they're fighting over a donut or something. That's pretty cool. You guy. Yeah, um, he says he doesn't want to leave this place, so that makes me think that he's part of Mobius. So he's just a crazy bastard who got put into this system and is wanting to take over, trying to make everything into some kind of weird, fetishized art. And I know what I saw, I saw the heads in the fucking jars, I really do not want to go against them. I have my crossbow, I have my gun, I will kill a bitch. I've done it before. See that? Give me the gunpowder. Oh, uh, that does look really cool, yeah, but at the same time, to be really fucking creepy. Sick. I hear guy's voice. Oh, there he is. Staying crouched. Oh, my flashlight was on. Your back's to me. You're dead. Oh, I'm taking the chance. Yeah, I see you. I see you, bitch. How'd you like that sweet dodge scale, huh? Fuck you. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah, bitch, how'd you like that? Combat in this is so aggressive, I love it. And I have no healing crap. Oh man, I need to start getting more resources. Wait, can I make anything? Let's, let's go check. Okay, I have some. No, I cannot make anything. Oh man, the soundtrack, it reminds me of the, the labs in Resident Evil. Flashlight back on. Is there anything here that I can use to heal myself? I don't really want to use the med kit this right is now. Obscene. Like, cause I want to try and keep that for later when I'm like, in dire trouble, like a boss battle or something. If this game has boss battles, I assume so. The first one did. Um. So 
Yeah, uh, am I supposed to go back the way? I just got here. I just got attacked. There doesn't seem to be anything else here. But wow. They really want to emphasize body parts, man. Huh? So this is something I would expect to see from like a psychopathic killer's home. Like this is like their museum. Like the accomplishments of their kills. Really disturbing to think about, but it kinda makes you think like how crazy the night can get. Thing about animalistic nature and what it what it takes to get us to the tipping point. Obviously, it's not, like not as straightforward as like horror movies trying to make out to be like the remake of the Halloween movie trying to make out to be like it came from an abusive family. Well, the, people, the people who came from abusive families, like redneck families, or like really nasty families. And they turned out to be like decent human beings. And oh my god, I just realized those heads are spinning in that jar. Oh, please don't. Are they fall in the light? Wait, what am I, what am I really looking at here? I'm sorry for knocking your sign over. Please don't kill me. The door is locked, he's dead, she's dead, they're all dead. I only have two rooms to go in, okay? Is there anything here I'm supposed to inspect? Anything at all? Can I pick one of these and just break down the walls of reality? Can I just think my way out of this? Is it my brain power strong enough? Maybe not, because I'm supposed to be like the obsessed cop. But Sebastian doesn't seem like your generic obsessed cop. Go oh, on, he gave up and started drinking liquor. Do I break this? That doesn't seem like I can. Do I pull the fire switch? Okay, creepy eye. Can't expect that. Can't expect that. Only door that I've seen so far is locked. So, where is the interacting point? Can I just kick this door in? Okay. Ah, no, it's, no, it's still locked. Where am I to go, man? Wait, fire extinguisher. Fire extinguisher. Games they usually explode. Nope. That was just a waste of bullet. Anything down here? No. Okay. Probably be something right here that I can. Wow! Wow! How the hell did I miss- Cause my flashlight's on, that's why! You are shitting me! Alright, let's go Sebastian. Let's just- let's just get out here. Let's forget that ever happened. Like, we weren't stupid. That was we weird. exactly what we're doing all along. Even for this place. O'Neill's safe yep. house is right there. Might as well we give him the, the bad news about his entourage face to face. Wow, that's bright. Right, round two. Me versus the projector? Yeah, the projector. You still up, Kidman? No rest for the wicked. What's going on? I can't believe it. Now it works! Alive. What the hell was up with that before? The fire. 
Lily wasn't killed in the fire. Oh, that's you the thing we saw at the start. Don't, Tell that don't to my brain. It. Tell that to the nightmares I've been having for years. Why did they take her? Out of all the little girls in the world, why mine? I can't answer that, Sebastian. Mobius took Lily long before I joined them. I know you don't believe in coincidences, but maybe you see a pattern because you want to. You know that some crimes just happen. There's no real reason for it. Just the wrong person, at the wrong place, at the wrong time. No. I refuse to believe that. Regardless, the fire is a memory that you need to purge, Sebastian. It wasn't your fault that it happened. And you didn't lose Lily because of it. Try to remember that. Yeah, the fire may not have been his fault, but according to that newspaper there, it says it's Nanny's fault. Though, to be honest, that whole thing just... If, if anyone can explain to me what the hell that's supposed to mean. Tragic fire kills child Nanny? Does it mean killed the child and the nanny? Or is it Thanks, that the fire killed, kills a child and it was a Nanny's fault? I don't know. I don't read the newspaper. But I don't think I get that. You got more, you got more good... Thanks for the extra cooler, Katie. You're awesome. Have a good one. Right. Let's go break the bad news to O'Neill. Hey, dude, um... Hello, heads up about your friends? They're dead. Uh-huh. Did you find them? So what happened to them? They're dead. Shot in the head. They didn't but after what I saw, now we're better off without them around. They were planning on killing everybody in here. You'd be in the cell, too. Emergency, huh? Without Jennifer Lopez. Can't say it's the worst idea I've heard. You're a real piece of work, O'Neill. You know that? I'm just being a realist. You can't save everybody. It's impossible. Mobius made emergency plans for a reason. If they never made this twisted machine, they wouldn't need emergency plans in the first place. Maybe so. But look at what they've done. Yeah, but you can try and save your own ass. Incredible. Still a company man after all this, huh? Hope your loyalty pays off for you in the end. Because right now, it seems like they don't give a shit about you. What do you mean? They sent you in here, didn't they? Sorry, I didn't mean to make you angry. Here. I made some more of these for you. For your troubles. Yeah, not to get you though. Dude, she's a weapon part. She's just raided the fucking bin and was like, here, maybe you can use them to make stuff with your owl or whatever. Fuck you. Company man. Huh. Companies should not make machines that fucking deal with the people's brains and make worlds and shit. It will soon be outlawed like the bombies. Where the hell am I going? I did not know there was an upstairs. Or did I, and did I just forget? Yeah, I guess I didn't know since that gunpowder's still there. Yeah, bathroom. I'm just gonna wash up and make myself all nice and clean. Yes! Give me the sweet trucks. Oh, I love the drugs. The ones that heal you anyway. What the hell? That's an outdoor door. What the fuck? Why is there grass up here? Why is there a road? Why is there a car? We're on the second floor. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We're in a weird machine that's inside someone's mind. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, makes sense now. Can't lose my logic. Gotta keep an open mind. Can't get swept away. Gotta stay strong. Yeah, I'll find the little girl voice in a bit. Um, I'm just gonna get these hanging bullets. Then the shotgun shells. Check out this resonant point. 
We got the sniper rifle. Some more shotgun shells and then go to the safe house. That doesn't have a warp range. Right. Because I want that sniper. I want that sniper to be up and running. Since I'm doing that, I'm just gonna set a waypoint. Doesn't seem like there's anything here, so I'm just gonna take a quick stroll down the street. Hopefully, nothing jumps out at me. Real cool, man. I'm just going down the road to get a pack of smokes. We all good the family here. Whoa, wait. There is one with a Molotov cocktail. Alrighty then. I'm just gonna pat down this dead body. If you don't mind. Yeah, you you you, you see them. Your eyeballs do deceive you, madam. All right, next waypoint. Uh, shotgun shells. Wait, what was the computer? Computer is uh, oh yeah. Let's get to the armory. I don't want to go back to that place. That place was scary. I think. I don't know. I was really tired when I played that bit, so I'm not too sure if it was. No wait, that was that wasn't that the place with the creepy ass uh, wispy ghost? The one that whispered everything. If so, on her. Well, man, I'm gonna try and get like loot places, maybe. <laughs> Wait a minute, I hear voices. What the? Can I get in the church? Dude, I, I, I've got it. I've got to check out what the hell this is about. A priest praying to a dead body? Wait, why the hell is our priest in here? Oh, uh, it looks like there's something shiny in that pile of bodies. I want it. What the hell? Those things are piling corpses up here. But why? There you go. I don't want you disturbing my searching. I gotta go see the good pastor. If he is such a good pastor. Or a feast, maybe? I don't know. To be honest, what these. I see you up there. I know you're a bad guy. That's why I'm not gonna give you anything to work with. You're gonna stay in that state. Because I ain't going up that road. But what's up now? Nothing! Oh crap, yeah, I forgot it took a look. Gotta get, gotta get the sweet ecto cooler. What I've done. You know, I keep calling ecto cooler, but I've never tried ecto cooler. I've never seen it around in the shops here. Oh my god! But we want to try it. 
I know I've sinned, but not this. Please, I won't sin again. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. Please forgive me for what I've done. Hello? Please forgive me. Are you okay? Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Oh, God, please. 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 God was angry with that man. Whoa. Wait a minute. Where's the third one? Where's the third one? Save it. Fuck it. Oh, fucking hell. God, I love seeing their heads explode. Huh. Wow. Padre had some fun. Did not expect to be raided. To it. Okay, I know like with Christians and all that, they say that they shouldn't kill people and all that, but I think it's okay to apply when it's a zombie ish thing. something still has some sort of weird visual on me. What the hell could it be? Like, holy crap, I did not expect things to... I didn't expect the shit to have a pan. They were really like, oh, there's a pan. Let's just get... the heck out of here. Alright, that's gonna do it for now, guys. Like, holy heck, that was. That came out of nowhere. But yeah. If you like this video, please leave a like, comment, anything you wish. We'd love to hear some suggestions or 
any tips or anything, please don't spoil anything. Uh, and I'd very much appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel so you can get notifications when new videos come up. And uh, follow me on Twitter uh, to know what new events are coming up or what games we're going to be playing next or when there's a live stream or anything. Uh, very much would appreciate it. So until next time guys, see ya!